everyone, this is Sage and welcome to the Executive Corner Expert Talks by Calkine TV. And on today's show we are very lucky to have Mr. Dilip Mapra, the founder of Cognitive View. And we'll be gaining insights from today's expert on how artificial intelligence can help businesses comply to regulators' requirements. And as you know, we bring you the industry leaders, successful business owners, all under the one roof to help you discover the insights of the stock markets. So as I said, very lucky to share some space with the founder of Cognitive View, Mr. Dilip Mahapra. Welcome Dilip, it's Thank a pleasure you. to meet you. Thank you for having me. Of course. So to give the viewers some background before we start, Cognitive View analyzes customer communication data to identify conduct related risk and automates the compliance monitoring prog processes. So yes, that's right. We're keen to hear from you, Dilip. Cognitive View identifies conduct-related risks by analyzing customer communication data. It also provides insights to understand customer experience and agent performance. What was your motivation yeah. behind creating the brand? Yeah, look, uh, I think uh, we started in 2018 and observing what was happening in the Australian uh, you know, banking and financial services scene. So, uh, the government actually initiated something called Royal Banking Commission inquiry to look into a widespread uh, misconduct challenge in the industry. And, uh, and we wanted to actually use technology to solve some of these uh, burning problems that a lot of the customers have been impacted and uh, you know, also firms who have been missing their compliance requirements and, and so on and so forth. So that was our motivation to sort of use AI or artificial intelligence technology to look at uh, some of these uh, challenges and then sort of solve it by automating those, uh, those gaps or processes. Fantastic. Sounds like you are taking a load of a lot of managers, making their lives a little bit easier for them. Would you like to talk about the range of solutions you provide to your clients? Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, this is mostly uh, useful in a retail environment where, let's say, if a large bank or a uh, insurance customer, they're actually selling a motor insurance product or a savings product or a credit product. So what happens is uh, in a contact center environment where they have agents or financial advisors actually selling or providing services to customers, we see there's a lot of gaps happen. So what we do is as a technology, we monitor the customer communication channels, so including your contact center, your social media, including emails, so all channels. So that way the AI can actually review whether your customers are doing a good job, uh, whether they're meeting the compliance requirement, uh, whether they're, if a customer is vulnerable, for example, um, are they actually supporting them uh, according to what they, uh, how they need to be? So it uh, sort of monitors all the communication channels. So in terms of services, it's really compliance automation, conduct risk automation, uh, complaint management. So those are the key capabilities that we offer. Fantastic. That sounds like an amazing feature because I think some banks have recently been pulled up for not completing the identity check in full. So it'd be great to see how you've developed an AI product that's able to help banks to comply better. In your opinion, what makes Cognitive View distinctive from other existing market players? Yeah, look, I think it's more about uh, looking, have a, having a holistic view because uh, as you, uh, you know, just not focusing purely on contact center, but rather looking into, you know, all communication channels. So now a post pandemic, as you know, uh, majority of your staff working remotely, it is so important that you also look into Zoom, uh, Microsoft Teams, you know, all these collaboration platforms, because as your uh, staff is actually supporting customers or interacting with other colleagues, so it's, it's really important uh, to identify if there is any gaps uh, or uh, misconduct happening. So I think the way we different is that we uh, look into a holistic view of all customer communication channels, but also we embed a lot of the regulatory requirements from ASIC, APRA uh, as part of our platform so that uh, as a compliance officer, risk officer, it gives you a kind of a complete view of it and then you can take some action before it gets too late. Fantastic. Just streamlining all that information for your clients. Sounds amazing. At present, Cognitive View is one of the world's most innovative reg tech companies. What has been your strategy yeah. behind such commendable success amid the dire circumstances led by the pandemic? 
Yeah, look, uh, RegTech essentially stands for regulatory technology. So I think uh, we have seen there is a lot of momentum around RegTech. And in fact, I would say uh, the Boston Consulting Group uh, identified uh, Australia as a, a number three in the RegTech uh, industry growth. So in a pandemic last year, we have seen a lot of uncertainties into the market. Uh, companies didn't want to really invest in the technology space, but actually that gave us an opportunity to uh, invest more into those areas. Uh, for example, we expanded our capabilities into Zoom, Microsoft Teams, as I was saying earlier, about all this collaborative uh, stack. Uh, and that actually uh, helped us now to stay ahead of uh, the game uh, because uh, now we can uh, do a lot more uh, and give a, like a complete uh, view of what's going on. So uh, I think uh, we, with respect to um, our success, uh, we have been really uh, focused uh, in research and development uh, as well as uh, expanding now our presence in UK and uh, US. So yeah, those are some of the key drivers, but also having onboarded few uh, early adapters in the, in the, um, for, for, as our customers, but also having some leading banks as um, some of the companies that we're actually trialing our software is also very important for our success. Sure. So it sounds like you might have some major clients approaching you. Could you share some insights on your current client base? Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, some of the, uh, the customers that we have onboarded already are uh, insurance customer and financial advisory firms, mostly into wealth management space. And the way they're actually using the technologies in, in their contact center environment. But we also are working some of the top two leading banks uh, right now. Uh, they're piloting our technology in uh, mostly around dispute resolution and complaint space. Um, so yeah, uh, so so far, uh, I think uh, hopefully we are exp uh, hoping that those pilots will be successful and will have those banks as our customers as well. Best of luck integrating your product further. And for our audience, would you mind sharing how conduct risk analytics work on your platform? Sounds very intriguing. Yeah, absolutely. Look, uh, let me take a step back by defining what conduct means. So conduct essentially means uh, how firms do business, how they treat their customers, how products are designed and how customers are supported. You know, it essentially reflects our values. So what we have seen in Royal Banking Commission inquiry is there's a lot of gaps. So for example, there has been mis-selling happening or misrepresentation of the information or bad financial advice been given or uh, someone who is mentally challenged has been sold a life instance call uh, product or the cold call uh, and so on and so forth. And the claim rejection rate has gone, gone up significantly. And in the post uh, COVID, I mean, because of the COVID, we have seen there's the, the number of complaint uh, that has been lodged with AFCA has also gone up. So if you see, these are like the misconduct or the patterns of uh, non-compliance. So, uh, so uh, when we look at, uh, uh, you know, finding issues uh, from customers, uh, uh, dealing with customer, uh, sorry, put, uh, to do, deal with the customer. So the way we look at it is, uh, beyond uh, just a sales-based incentive model. So typically, uh, you know, the agents are incentivized based on how much sales they do, right? So whereas we, we look into more like a balanced scorecard model, which is looking into how you actually treat your customers. So if someone is vulnerable because of financial disadvantage or uh, could be Aboriginal, could be whatever reasons uh, someone is disadvantaged, uh, have a vulnerability, do you actually take extra care to support them? So we look into those extra uh, characteristics and bring that into the technology. So that way the technology is looking beyond uh, just the sales incentive and looking into all the other factors that also really matters from a customer standpoint. Right, thanks for sharing your insights, Dilip. In your view, how do Cognitive Views AFCA insights help businesses get a deeper understanding of the complaint patterns? Thank you. I'll, actually, the AFCA is essentially the ombudsman body that we have. Uh, it stands for Australian Financial and Complaint Management Authority. So this is something a new body. But what we have done is we have taken last 11 years of publicly available uh, AFCA data. So that way what happens is if you have a, a customer lodged a complaint or a complaint which has been escalated because it hasn't been dealt uh, properly in a timely manner uh, with the customer satisfaction level, uh, then uh, you know you can actually look into this AFCA insight 
to predict, uh, you know, and, and make some better decisions so that because you can actually learn from Africa how they have made the decision in those circumstances. So that way you can reduce the number of complaints actually going to Africa or to the EDR because the consequence of this, if you don't resolve the complaints uh, um, internally, that you have to actually pay more fine. But there's a reputational damage and there is, uh, uh, you know, there's a lot of other consequences that you have to deal with. Uh, uh, so that's why it's very important to actually predict and prevent complaint ending up with Africa. Wonderful. So if there is a discrepancy, it can be easily identified from the data you've captured, I suppose. Will your data absolutely. be made available to the regulatory bodies as well? Yes, ab absolutely. So it's uh, publicly available and uh, anyone can just go for a trial and uh, explore this and uh, see, um, you know, there's two aspects of it. One is to learn from the best practices, uh, you know, uh, uh, that's one thing. But the second thing is uh, also integrate with the existing system so that you can actually predict and do better. Fantastic. Thank you so much for joining us today, Dilip. Your insights, I'm sure, have been found to be very valuable by our viewers. And Thank you so much you for having me. Of course. And if you've just joined us, viewers, we had a very interesting discussion with Mr. Dilip Mahapra, the founder of Cognitive View. And the full recorded interview will be available from the YouTube channel, Kalkine Media, in the next couple of days. Thanks for your time, viewers. And please stay tuned with Kalkine TV for more ma live market updates and expert talks tomorrow. We'll be back as close as possible to 10.30 a.m. Australian Eastern Time. Sage signing off for now.